Hey guys, it's your favorite gold miner, prospector, and geologist, Jeff Williams. Today we're headed out to the drift mine. A lot of you have been chomping at the bit saying, Jeff, when are you going to get back out there? Keep your pants on. We've got a lot of rain and snow coming in. I know, I know. Enough jaw jacking. Let's get on out to the mine. Ooh, here's a good place to look for gold. Right in these ripples. And I don't see anything except for that nasty turd right there. Yeah. All right, it's been a long time since we've been down here, huh? Now, for all you new viewers out there that don't know what I'm doing or what this is all about, this is the infamous drift mine. And if you don't know anything about it, I'm going to leave a link right here so you can go ahead and watch how it took us seven years to get to this point. But for the rest of you guys, you know what we're doing down here. That's right. We're out looking for gold nuggets. So let me hop in my mine car and we'll get to the working face and get on to it. But I'm not gonna do anything until you smash that like button, smash it hard. And later we get on down in that sump, clean it out. Hopefully we don't see no worms and get into those pay layers down there where the super gold's at. You gotta love these things. Make short order work of getting the muck out and getting me <laughs> to the working face. <laughs> All right, so this is our heading and that's our working face. Most of you guys out there know that we don't use explosives to drive this strip forward. So what we do is we chip it out piece by piece. It takes forever and we use these guys right here. We found a new way to advance this drift four feet at a time, much faster. Now let's see how many of you guys can figure out what it is we're using. Go ahead and leave me a comment down below and tell me what you think it is before I tell you. But for right now, I gotta muck this stuff out and you know how much fun that is. Mucking will test your metal every time. All right, let me get suited up, get my respirator on and we'll start hammering this stuff out. But before I do, you guys got a choice of what kind of music you want. For you guys who know what I'm talking about, but you know what you're getting. everything mucked out. I still have about six, seven inches of overburden to cut out before we actually get down to the cemented gravels, which is the artificial bedrock down here. That's where we've been finding a lot of the gold nuggets is sitting right on top of that. So I still have a little bit, but I'm going to go ahead and metal detect anyway, because I want to know, and I know you want to know too. So let's get back there and take a look. Oh yeah, it looks clean. Look at that. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and metal detect as close to the rails as we can without getting interference from the metal that's in there. Get up on this bench, metal detect in there too. 
And if we don't find anything, then we'll go ahead and lay track to advance the drift another five feet. A real quick shout out to any of you guys out there that do mine exploration or actual hardcore mining like we're doing down here and videotaping yourself. You guys know as well as I do, it's a chore. So I know enough whining I can hear it from here. Stop your crying, cry baby, and get to work. We want to see some gold nuggets. I want to see some gold nuggets too. I'm using a gold monster 1000 for any of you new folks out there. And I can't get too close to the rails because of that. Now I've got my sensitivity almost all the way up to max. I don't know if you can see that. And of course volume is all the way up and I'm in deep right now. I don't like running it in automatic down here. I'd rather have it in manual mode. What you're doing is you're going over. You got to be careful not to bump these because see what I mean? You'll get a false signal just lightly. And that's the track. I'm going to set this all the way to max. So I'm going to be careful not to bump it. Now I'm getting a lot of iron right in here. Right there's a good one. Right there. That's a really good one. I'll get you in here so you can see this. I want you to look at the meter. See the meter going over to gold? That's a good one. Iron, lots of iron. That sounded like a good signal. Yeah, it's also going over to the goal. I don't know if you can see that. So I got that one and that one. Let's get up here. Make sure you can see this. <sighs> All right, let's get up to the top on the bench. Get some of this dirt out of here. All right. Look at that. We got roots down here. That's a good one right there. A lot of iron. That's a good one. But that sounds like iron. Oh, that's a really good one. Look at this. Uh, so I got three up in the top. See the meter? See that? So I got one, two, I got one, two, three, four, possible five. All right, so what I'll do is I'll dig up all these targets and if any of them are gold, I'll show you what that looks like. So, all right, here we go.
Not bad, we got two nuggets. They're kind of small. I was expecting something a little bit bigger, but they're not bad, I'll take them. They all add up. You know where they're going, right? Right there. Yeah. Ooh, that one's still got some stuff on it. Nice. Mmm. I know the one ounce and five ounces are this way because my wife found one. So I think these are just the little babies, the family of the nuggets. So we're gonna keep driving the drift this way. Now, speaking of driving the drift, I'm gonna show you a new technique that we've got for advancing this drift a little bit faster. Some of you might've seen it, but some of you haven't. And you have to excuse me, I have to shout down here because I got this big old air vent pipe right in my ear. Can't hear nothing down here. So let's get on to get it on. This is what we use. It's an electric drill, it's an auger. And when we get in the clay seams, it augers right through with no problem. Now it has a heck of a time when we get into these cemented caliche beds or even the compacted caliche beds. But in these clay seams, it cuts right through it. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So after we drill eight of those holes three feet deep across the clay seam, we come in with our hammer drills and that creates the perfect relief cut. Kind of like when you do a, a three to five hole burn for blasting. Everything just kind of breaks right off inside, makes it a whole lot easier. Then once we get three and a half, four feet of clearance, I can bring in the bigger jackhammers and blow out this harder condensed material that's sitting on top of the cemented clay beds. And it's a lot easier moving the material out. Now I know what a lot of you guys are thinking is, is Jeff, are you gonna run that material that's sitting on top of the cemented caliche beds, you betcha, at least the six inches to eight inches of material that are sitting there, because we find nuggets in that. So we'll break it all up and run it through a wash plant to get every speck. Now my question is, is what's underneath these cemented caliche beds? Because you saw what was back in the sump, and that's the same thing that's under our feet. So we might have to drop another shaft here, connect the two, so we got good airflow down there, because it smells. Bad. And speaking of the drift, I'm gonna take you in there and show you how we clean out the sump and we're gonna look around for some pay layers. So let's get into it. Now for any of you guys out there who've been in hard rock mining before, you know that all mines have some type of a sump in them. The reason why is it's the lowest point of the mine where water can drain into. It's an easy collection point, pump it all up. Also, it's a good place for your skip car or skip bucket to drop down below your operating level so you can dump down into it. Remember, use gravity every chance you get because in the mining industry, gravity is your friend. Here's our funnel that we use to dump into. And of course, there's the sump down there where the skip bucket sits. You notice anything? See that dark, heavy red clay? That is where a lot of gold is, but there's a lot of moisture down there and there's a water table down there too that's connected to underground aquifers. Now there's a water table right below my feet here and it's connected to an underground aquifer because whenever it rains heavily, we get water in here. Another problem is, is it smells really bad in here, which tells me bacteria of some kind. And there's prehistoric red worms that live down in here. Now I know a lot of you guys are gonna think I'm joking, but for a lot of you longtime viewers that have been out there, you've seen it firsthand. And personally, I don't ever wanna see one again. The idea is how far down does this go before we hit water and does it connect to cave systems which we think it does there's a lot of pay layers in here but the more you dig the riskier it gets so and of course anybody who knows sumps knows that everything likes to fall down in a sump so now we need the small sump bucket clean it out and then if we got time i'll show you where the pay layers look like and we got to be careful because i still this floor is hollow so when i stomp on it you can feel it flexing and that's no bueno Look at that nice red dirt. You see it? That is nice. See the spider webs? Look at that. Oh, that's spider webs. All in through there. Oh up in there. It's nasty. All right, let's see if we can get this in the first shot so I don't gotta climb down there. A ton!
just I Back down we go. <laughs> See, some of it's soft, some of it's hard, some of it's really soft. Look at that. So I'll collect up what I can. Now what I'll do is I'll go ahead and pan out that material that we dug out, put a snapshot app at the end of this video, and I'll dig out some more, and then I'll give bags of that away, plus the two nuggets that we just pulled out and anything else that we find down here too. Now I know you're asking, Jeff, how the heck do I get my hands on some of that gold coming out of your drift mine? Just look for the little icon at the end of the video that looks something like that. Click on it, make a $10 pledge, and you're in like Flynn. And not only that, but we give away gold monster 1000 metal detectors every month. So you'll be involved with that. Plus we got three day gold mining tours coming up. And if you wanna see more videos of us working down here in the drift mine, just go ahead and watch this video right here. And I'll see you on the next video.